Alright, what up out there? So, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do time stretch, uh, how to import MIDI, and how to layer your samples. Alright, so let's get started with time stretch. First way to do time stretch, because there's two ways to do it, is, you know, first... Uh, <coughs> We saw B maybe because this is acting stupid right now. <coughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> what up? What up? Sorry. So, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, time stretch. All right, so hopefully uh, Beatmaker will agree with me this time. Last time I didn't, but whatever. All right, so I'm going to drag this in. There we go. All right. So when you want to time stretch, there's a couple things that you need to do. <coughs> it's actually pretty, pretty easy. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to look at the BPM for the sample and the duration for the sample. Um, so with the BPM for the sample, you want to basically make sure that it's, it's matched up to whatever the, the actual BPM is. So with this one, I was given the beats per minute. But if you aren't given the beats per minute, what you could do is you can play it, count out the bars, and then uh, just fix the duration. So I have the, the beats per minute, so I'm just going to uh, put it in here. It's just 146, enter, all right. And so you have 146 there. And so now that this is matched up, you want to uh, match the tempo of the song to your sample as well. You don't have to do this, but, you know, it just makes things a little bit easier. So let's just hear the sample real quick. Whoa. Sorry, the verse got turned on somehow. Now, obviously, if I play down here, it'll be slower. So, to do a time stretch, just turn this live stretch on, and boom, you did. If you want to see something real interesting, turn the polyphony on and put on a legato, right? <clears throat> Watch this. So it's changing the pitch as you play when you do it uh, with the legato on. What up, man? So, uh, the other way to do time stretch is uh, real easy, too. Um, you want to go into the sequencer, right? So, what you want to do, actually, first, go in the mixer, go to add track, add audio track, right? And then, uh, wait a minute, go back to the sequencer. So, we got an audio track there. So, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to drag... The audio track in. Drag some audio right into the audio track. Boom. Now, once you're here, you could either go right here to pattern to pop the sample open like that, or you could double tap on the sat on the sample. <coughs> and when you do that, at the bottom it says, uh, you know, disc streaming, live stretch, the BPM, the duration. Same thing it had in the sampler. So, uh, I think this one was 150. I think this is a different sample. So, 150. Uh, maybe it wasn't 150. I messed this one up. Hold on, let's go back. Which one did we get? I don't even know which one we got. Hold on. That's fly. Yeah, it's 150. Why is that acting crazy? What the heck? 
Well, basically, that's how you, that's exactly how you do. It. I don't know why this thing is not. It, it should be lined up right. Um, it should be exactly um, nine eight bars or whatever. But um, I'm gonna change this to one fifty. this okay so let's open it up turn the live stretch on for that ah that's why because the time signature was three four there we go yeah you make sure you check the time signature too so now i'm gonna go back to the sequencer so now watch this is that playing 150 i'm now it's playing at 75 150, 300. Not a change in pitch at all, all right? So that's time stretching. <clears throat> Real easy to do. Now, the other thing you can do, too, is um, you can uh, import MIDI. Somebody asked me why you can't import MIDI. You can import MIDI. It's just a little bit different than you would uh, expect it to be. So you just drag it and drop it in. These are just MIDI files over here. But when you import it, you got to remember that every single pad on the drum machine has a, um, gets its own MIDI lane. So you import the MIDI. Um, it's going to ask you to, if you want to transpose it. For me, like, I'm usually, if, if I'm importing MIDI, it's usually, like, hi-hats or whatever. So, like, I don't need to transport it. But, like, you can, if you, if you want to uh, have it, if you want to... Uh, uh, import it like you can just go straight import it like that uh, the other thing you could do I'm gonna do it again um, you can change the transposition map so you can make a new map uh, dang it oh, come on All right, so let's do this transition oh, what the hell oh here we go so you can make a new map um and let's call it test two, whatever. And then you just tell it what pad you want it to go to, and it'll go to that pad each time, I guess. Um, it's kind of weird. I usually just don't transpose it, and then, like I like for example, um, <coughs> yeah, I just put no transition, and then I'll just open it up, and whatever pad it it, it puts it to, what I'll do is, I'll just hit this right here, select those joints right there. Hit the uh, the hand tool and then just drag them up and down to whatever wherever I want it to be, and that's just the easiest way for me. Like, cause that uh, everything that other that other stuff is just a little too confusing for me. I don't understand it quite just yet. All right, um, after that you could layer samples super easy. Okay, so well we're probably not gonna um um uh, layer the sample over that, but if I wanted to. Let's take a look at the samples right here. So you see right here where it says samples, right up under there is where your layers will be. So if you go to the loading section, right, <clears throat> um, and whatever, I'm just going to throw whatever sample up under here. It's, oh my God, shut up. All right, so now you hear it like it's playing right there. So what you have, if right here you see it says load sample, Right next to it, it says replace samples. That's a load method. Tap that one time, and it say add to new layer. And then right next to it, it says that it, there's a pad that you can uh, load it to. So it could be pad one, pad two, three, four. I'm going back to pad one because I want to add that to a new layer. Okay, then just hit load sample. And now I got both of those samples loaded on this one. So it's going to sound like chaos when I play it, but that is basically, you know, how you would do it. So. So you can hear them both playing at the same time. Now, if you want to get real creative with it, let's go back to our original tempo. The first one, this one up here is 146. The live stretch is on. This one down here is 143. The live stretch is off. So I'm going to turn the live stretch on on this one. 143. The keys are probably different, so it's probably still going to sound like chaos, but whatever. Uh, live stretch on. And let's just hear what it sounds like. It's actually not that bad.
Heck, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn one backwards. See what that sounds like. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't reverse it once the live stretch is on. Ah, all right. Well, whatever. But that's how you can layer samples. And uh, I saw with some of the uh, samples that were in the um, the um, what is this thing? The the presets that they that came with Beatmaker Three that they have some of the samples layer where it has like in layer one it has like multiple samples. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Um, but it, it's um. Can you save a preset of your sample chops? Yeah, it's, that's just the um, like once you, however you chop the sample, and save it to the bank. That's it. And just make sure you save your bank with the samples. So you know, like save bank, and then copy samples, and then save patterns, and you, good to go. Yeah, and every time you save, anytime you saving your um your 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 uh, songs too. When you hit save, always save the session with samples. Save session and samples. And then, like, but, like, when you save, go to save session as, because otherwise it's going to save save it as session and the date. So that's the easiest way to do that. All right? So I don't want to hold y'all too long. I covered the topics that I said I would. Please email me if y'all got more things y'all got questions on. I'm up out of here. Peace. <laughs>